Hey guys, Dan Heilman here, back with another video. This one's gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna try something different today. This is gonna be episode one of Gotcha News. I'm gonna go through uh, some of the newest Gotcha games in the industry here. I'm gonna talk about three of them specifically today. That's obviously Ace, the normal main game. Uh, I'm gonna talk about Infinite Magic Raid, which is a new idle slash full Gotcha. And I'm gonna talk about Dislight because Dislight had their global launch today so I'm just gonna talk a little bit about all three and not sure if people are gonna enjoy this video but I want to try something new if you uh, like this video definitely go down there hit that like button that tells me that you enjoy the content hit that sub button if you're not already and comment below what you think should I continue this series um, I was thinking maybe I don't know two times a week I just do you know episodes of and just go through kind of the news any new gotchas if you guys also know of other gotcha games going out that you think I need to try that I haven't tried also leave a comment below about that but all right let's begin so first I'm gonna start with ace then I'm gonna do some infinite magic raid and then I'm gonna talk about dislight so all right very first thing awaken chaos era what's going on in awaken chaos era right now the dungeons um, the dawn guard is ending today um, at reset we should have a new boss who should be I think a dark boss the current one is a light boss um, you might want to just fill out your challenges if you have a couple remaining just go and do some damage um, every time you do that you get these points here um, I did purchase some stuff from the shop you can see this is what I've purchased so far just in case something resets I doubt it's going to reset but crazier things have happened um, I guess it does say seven days so I guess you probably shouldn't worry about that too much um, I purchased I purchased the avatar because it looked really cool I purchased this other avatar um, I guess this is not really an avatar oh avatar frame okay and then I purchased the Deshmir avatar summoning crystal which I don't really think are that worth but I bought it anyways just for the lulls uh, five star pumpkin and some of the gear um i think these two were the best because they had attack what did they say i think they had like attack crit rate and precision so that's pretty solid um next i'm gonna be purchasing summons gear charms and more gear charms okay that's it for the event the event's ending um we got guild versus environment coming soon i will make a video on that i think it comes out the 18th which is what in like a week yep so next week we should have guild versus environment coming out we should have a new unit coming out either tonight or next week something like that coming out um they've been doing patches you know pretty much every week every other week it seems we get almost a new unit so a lot of stuff like that going on um that's pretty much that for ace um let's move on to the next game infinite magic raid let me just talk about it real quick talk about um this game is in soft launch so the only way to play this game right now is to go on their discord and get an apk file if you just google infinite magic raid um download or apk you'll find it in google it's the first link um so if you want to try the game you do have to download an apk if you have a Samsung phone, or sorry, not Samsung, an Android phone, you can use an APK installer, put it on your phone. If you use an emulator like me on BlueStacks, um, you can do it that way as well. So if you're an iOS only user, sorry, you're kind of shit out of luck for the immediate future. I will say, as far as Infinite Magic Raid, there is no date put in. So I think there's at least... 90 days before global launch because I think you need 90 days for app store approval, etc. There's no date in there. Um, if I search it on my phone, I'm curious actually, is there some sort of date in the app store? Can I even find this in the app store? Let me look real quick on my phone actually. Infinite Magic Raid literally no results okay so <laughs> i think it's gonna be a while before we get a global launch of this game um because there's not even anything in my iphone um even a placeholder date like games like um dislight which is the next game i will talk about um they even had something a placeholder date in the apple ios store for quite some time um they were in soft launch for quite some time i did plays that we'll talk about that in a little bit but let's talk about infinite magic raid what is infinite magic raid first of all 
It's kind of a hybrid idol slash full gotcha game. It has some idol mechanics, like these auto battle rewards that you can claim. Um, you can also do the stuff where you do this quick auto battle where it gives you 24 hours. So it is technically an idol game. And I'll justify that even more. If you look at the system of leveling up, um, my holder is max level, which is 150. You have to awaken. Um, sorry, I have to click someone else. You have to awaken using a lot of copies this is very different than full gacha games like raid shadow legends awaken chaos era dislight is a full gacha game uh, we'll cover that one in a minute but this game is more like an idle game because of the amount of resources and time it takes to max a character that is very indicative of idle games like magnum quest rage of destiny um afk arena those are all idle games and they take a lot more time to max level a character very similar to this but this game does have different things than other idle games. Um, heroes do have talent trees. Um, I guess Magnum Quest kind of had talent trees, so that's not super exclusive um, to full gacha games. Um, but emblems right here, they're very similar to Raid Shadow Legends. But the one thing that this game has that other idle games do not have is gear dungeons. Um, if you go to Dwarven Ruins, you can see there's three different gear dungeons right now, and then they have like these exclusive weapons i'll call them i guess they're called artifacts in this game that you get from ascensions once you ascend to one you get here once you third ascend you get this once you fifth ascend which is the highest ascension you get this um and these are specific artifacts that open up so this game is similar to a full gacha game because it does have equipment sets um, but it is kind of like an idle game it also has the problem that other idle games have that you're kind of get to this point where you get hard blocked and you're going to be stuck there for a while. So right now I'm stuck on hell 410 and I feel like I may not be able to beat this level for, I don't know, a week, maybe two weeks. So this is kind of similar to other idle games in that aspect. You don't really see that in full gacha games like Raid Shadow Legends, Awaken Chaos Era, Dislight, etc. You don't usually get hard blocked like that and this game does have energy which a lot of um idle games do not have but you can't really farm a lot yeah i feel like once you get the first two weeks you can play almost non-stop you get a shit ton of energy but then once you use up all those initial summons energy etc you get to this point where you are purchasing energy at quite an expensive rate so i buy these two out because they're discounted but i mean 100 energy for 100 diamonds i mean how much can i buy 100 diamonds for in this game um i don't know i don't feel like doing the math right now but it seems like it's quite expensive to get energy and Farming dungeons aren't super important in this game because you have the forge gear and the forge gear is so strong. You're just kind of better off just farming campaign because you get food and food is huge because if you don't know when you're crafting, if you want to craft a one star, you need to put five one stars into that one star to make a two star. A lot different than almost any other full on gacha game. Um, but yeah, okay. That's enough for infinite magic raid. Um, that's all I really wanted to talk about. Um, it's definitely more of, oh, one other thing. This new event, I made a video saying that this is a huge whale event, blah, blah, blah. I will say that now that I know that this Brave Trial thing resets every two weeks and will constantly be there, now it doesn't make me feel as bad. So I'm pretty much maxed out, close to maxed out, and I'm only like 1,600 out of 5,000. Now, I will say, I've been talking to some other people, and if you have an older account, you know, my account's only two and a half weeks old or whatever. If you have an older account, you may be able to finish this. And it's kind of like a good judge of where you're at in the game because every time this resets every two weeks, you should be able to get further and further into it. So I will say this is a... I was so mad about this event. I was like, this is a huge whale event. There's no way you could do this without spending thousands of diamonds. And now I kind of see that maybe you're not really meant to finish this as a new player. Um, maybe since it happens every two weeks, I will say they have a crazy amount of uh, events in here. So you almost need to focus on a certain event to see if you can rank high to get rewards. But I just wanted to take back kind of what I said about this brave trial thing. Uh, yes, 
if you want to build you want to beat it as a brand new player you're going to need to spend diamonds but do i think it's a terrible event now no maybe not because if this is there every two weeks resetting you're going to be able to get further and further into the event i'll show you kind of the screen right now the brave trial and every time you're going to should be able to get further and further and further and further as you wait you can buff up your team by using these little blessings in the bottom and do this and that and you can get you know here i got five levels of 20 percent attack so maybe i'll be able to beat this level now etc okay i just want to talk about that because i posted a pretty negative video about the event and now that i know how it actually works and that it resets every two weeks i feel better about the event okay enough rambling about that let's move on to dislight um dislight is another game that i've played a decent amount of time with it is a vertical gotcha game so a lot of people are going to hate the game just because it's vertical but i will say when you're playing on your actual phone, I actually prefer a vertical game uh, versus a versus a sideways game, a uh, landscape game, I'll call it, instead of portrait. Um, but on the computer, it's kind of annoying, obviously, because when you want to play multiple games, your screen looks like this, and it doesn't really fit together because most of the other games are the same resolution, and this one is the opposite. But other than that... The game is quite good. I would definitely recommend trying this game. The art is amazing. This is made from the same guys who made AFK Arena. And it kind of reminds me almost of like um, the League of Legends people, how they just have great, awesome graphics and just the type of graphics with all the neon colors, etc. Kind of reminds me of something like that. Um, if you've ever seen like the new show on Netflix by them, etc. Kind of reminds me of that. The... Um, the units are really cool. The animations are really cool. The music is really cool. Um, and they have a lot to do already. So this account, I've been playing a couple weeks. I probably won't re-roll because I've spent some money on this account. And I'm only a couple weeks in. So if there's, I mean, I feel like there's no point to me re-rolling. I only have a couple level 60s. Um, this is, a, again, as I was saying earlier about Infinite Magic Raid, it takes a very long time to get max level characters. This game is more similar to Awaken Chaos Era or Raid Shadow Legends. You basically will start um, and you'll be able to get a level 60 pretty quick and you'll be able to get a couple level 60s pretty quick. Um, this girl Mona is a good campaign finder. She's your starter hero. She literally you'll get her right away. Um, you can just put her into a lifesteal set. They have lifesteal sets in this game. They have these things. They're basically kind of like runes, um, but they're called relics here. It's the basically gear. You have six slots of gear, um, and different slots can have different main stats and substats. So this is another gear collector gotcha game, exactly like Awaken Chaos Era or Raid Shadow Legends or some of those others. Um, the game's really fun. Definitely give it a try. There's, um, I'll show you summoning. I'll show you a summon animation just because um, this game just came out. So a lot of people maybe haven't seen this game. So let me do a summon animation for you. Let me first turn on the music because the music is quite good in this game. Really enjoy using the music in this game. <laughs> and uh, so let me purchase two so I can do a 10 pull. And we'll pull a 10 pull for you. Just show you kind of the animations and some of the music and stuff. It's pretty cool. All right. So that means I got a purple. And boom, I got one purple and a bunch of blues, so not a very good pull. Let's see what we got. There's a couple new units in here. I have not played this game in, I don't know, a couple weeks. So I may not be up to speed on all the units. Who's going to be my epic? The animations are great. The music's great. Um, I already have this guy. He's not a, He's not a new unit for me, I don't think. Yeah. So there you go. Animations are really cool. Music's really cool. The game's really fun. Although I think did it freeze on me. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, it froze, guys. Um That is actually the first time I've ever crashed. Uh oh, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. I just went back out and back in. Okay, there we go. Never mind, never mind. It just kinda got held up for a second there. Alright, so I got a new unit there. Um, that's the summon animation. They're pretty cool. If you want to do dungeons and stuff, you either click this trials thing in the bottom right here, or you click this little arcade machine. And there's all sorts of stuff in here. There's a lot of content in here. Unlike Infinite Magic Raid. In Infinite Magic Raid, 
I feel like after you play for two weeks, you can only play for like 30 minutes or an hour. You run out of energy and there's no like infinite tower and stuff like that. This has infinite towers. It's called infinite miracle. Um, I'm on floor 100. Once you clear floor 100, you unlock a new tower. Can I see the new tower? I can't see the new tower. Once you do that, you get a new tower and there may even be another tower on top of that. And maybe they will have new ones to come. I will say this one does not reset. So once you complete the spatial tower, you cannot do the spatial tower again. Um, but the other tower that you unlock after this, you may be able to do more than ones. I'm not sure on that. They have stuff like Cube Miracle, where this is like, um, if you're familiar with Awakened Chaos Era, this is kind of like Endless Trial almost, um, where you go through and you basically fight enemies and get some rewards. And then you get things that boost you. They're called runes in this game. Um, and they boost up your team and you move through and if your unit dies, you need to resurrect it, etc. You go through and you get some good rewards. Um, it's kind of fun. They have this thing. Um, I'm sorry, that's where I just was. I didn't mean to click that. And Ritual Miracle is kind of like your dungeons. Right now there's three dungeons and there's three sets for each dungeon. Uh, right now I can farm Kronos 10, which is the hardest Kronos. I cannot farm Apep 10 and I cannot farm Fafnir 10. Um, but I can farm Kronos 10, basically 100%. Um, if you want to see what team I'm using, you can just look through my YouTube history. I have a playlist for Dislight. I have covered this game um, maybe a month ago, two months ago, etc. But good sets here. You got an attack set. You got this weird set that does some stuff. Um, basically increases the speed when you land a debuff on them. Um, I think that's how that works. And then you have a speed set, which is obviously great. Um, yeah, so you got dungeons and you have this thing Sonic Miracle, which is basically like ascending your units like kind of like Raid Shadow Legends. Um, you have the different um, types of units, Flow Runner, Shimmer and two other types. Shimmer is kind of like void units in uh, Raid Shadow Legend. They don't have any affinity bonus or negativity. So Shimmer are the more rare ones. You can farm these things to basically upgrade the unit and I'll show you because it's kind of a cool system that I've never seen in another game so if I go to this unit and then how do I even get to it again here we go um, ascension so when you go to ascension um, you basically farm those little things and you can ascend your units and you get like attack and then you get HP and then you upgrade an ability, which is kind of like Awakened Chaos Era. They have something similar where you get to upgrade your ability from ascending them. Instead of using duplicates, you use this. And then you can get attack, um, accuracy, and then speed. They also have this resonance thing, and this is what they kind of do for dupes. When you get a dupe, you basically put it in here, and I think it gives them a purple star if I'm not mistaken it's been a while since i've been on dislate so forgive me if i if i say anything incorrect but um when you have a, a dupe unit it gives you a purple star and you can basically put more stats in and then um yeah this guy's max so i can't put anything more in you have skill ups and stuff like that um yeah that's pretty much it for that you know you can put in abilities to max out abilities etc you got a lot of cool stuff i would definitely recommend trying this game uh we're getting kind of long on the video so i won't spend too much more time um if you don't know you can scroll on the screen it took me a while to figure this out they do have arena they have point war which is another type of arena um and i don't know they put on a lot of content and they put out a lot of espers there's some really cool units the game is pretty fun give it a try let me know what you think Okay, that's pretty much it for the video. This was my very first episode of Gotcha News. This is episode one of Gotcha News. Let me know if you like this video. If you do, just leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the video. Um, if you have any suggestions about other stuff I could cover, if you have suggestions about other games you want me to look at, um, I think I wanna do these videos maybe once or twice a week. If people enjoy them, if they get some views, if they get some thumbs up, um, I will continue making these videos. If it doesn't get a lot of views and doesn't get a lot of thumbs up, I probably won't make it anymore. I thought it was a cool idea for a video. Let me know what you guys think. Um, again, hit that like button, sub to the channel, if you're not already and have a great day everyone uh covered three games today let me know if there's any other games you want me to look at so all right that's it for the video have a great day everyone see you guys